continuing to learn how that staffing shortage is impacting travelers flying in and out of Austin. And this as the Federal Aviation Administration continues to investigate a close call between two planes near the Austin Bergstrom International Airport. KXAN's Brianna Hollis is live at the airport this evening. So Bri, we understand you looked through an FAA report about the staffing issue. Yes, and it's called the Air Traffic Controller's Workforce Plan, and it tells us just how many staff members we have working the tower here in Austin. The gist, we do have enough staff to operate. These passengers wouldn't be able to make their flights today if that wasn't the case, but we are below the FAA standard staffing target. According to this report, that target calls for 51 positions. We only have 75% of that working at the AUS tower right now. The report also states there's substantial training time for these employees, as well as a quote, expected attrition rate. And this is prompting concerns ahead of the busy travel weekend. A mix where you're seeing a massive increase in employments, passengers, people are very comfortable flying. You have this other uh, mix where you have a lessening of the number of air traffic controllers, some of it very critical in major centers. So, you know, what's the fix? And we have asked the FAA specifically how our shortage impacts our travelers. We're still waiting to hear back. Keep in mind, a flight aware spokesperson says air traffic control shortages are most prominent in the Northeast. Jen, Daniel.